Hello, this is Evan Rogerson, and I'm Motor Gang here. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and breaking down some posts on VexForum. Now, for those unaware, VexForum is the official Vex forum, and anybody can post their questions on here. Now, VexForum used to be this super helpful resource. I actually started out on here before I was on Discord or YouTube or anything, and you could definitely learn a lot previously. If you go back and look at old posts, I'm sure you'll see lots of informative things. However, in November of 2022, um, it came to light that some of the VEX employees had uh, some scrupulous behavior, um, somewhat akin to like Bill Clinton or Donald Trump and how they like their women. And as a result of that, VEX form now is moderated and your post must be approved. So all of the people that really cared about VEX form and had a lot of passion kind of left. Um, that's when I left VEX form and kind of moved over to Discord and YouTube mainly. So it's a lot of people that don't know about Discord and YouTube. So it's not full of um, the most knowledgeable people, let's just say. Now, I'm going to show some screenshots here of some uh, interesting posts that people have made, and I don't want you guys to, like, harass any of these people for a few reasons. One, just don't harass them. If you guys make this a problem, I'm not going to make these videos anymore. The other thing is, is, like, you don't actually know who these people are. Like, just because they say that they're on Team 123A doesn't actually mean they're on Team 123A. So, like, especially don't take this back and, like, reflect on anybody's team poorly. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to see more content like this. And let's go ahead and get into it. So the first post we have here is motors overheating after two minutes. And this is a brand new post. So first time poster. And the post goes, in my class, we were doing freeze tag and our robot has a seven to one gear ratio. Also interesting use of a semicolon there. And our motors burn out after two minutes of the three minute round. Any solutions are welcome. Thanks. So, of course, we have the classic uh, improper punctuation and capitalizations, as you will see most of these posts have from newer users. Now, let's just do a little bit of math here. So, 7 to 1 ratio. Even if you are running red cartridges, that means that you would be getting 700 RPM at a minimum. Now, the other thing is, is 7, 1 to 7, I assume that means 12 to 84, because that's the only way you can get that off of standard VEX gears. The only wheels that work on 84 tooth gears are 4 inch wheels. The 84 tooth gears are just larger than the 3.25 inch wheels, so you can't use them. So this means that they're running a 700 RPM at a minimum, probably 1400 RPM, because they're most likely using green cartridges, on 4 inch wheels. So now let's be generous and say they're using red motor cartridges. That means that they're running at a speed of around 147 inches per second. Now, if you go with my standard number that I like to use of 10 to 15 inches per second for every motor you have on your robot, I would say this ratio is viable to run if you have about a 10 motor drivetrain. And even then, this is going to be very hard to control. And I highly doubt said user is running a 10 motor drivetrain, hence why they are overheating so quickly. So I uh, didn't quite think through the math on all of this one here. Next up, we have, I need to convince my classmates that we can succeed. This one, a little bit better. I mean, they got like the proper punctuation and capitalization here. So a little bit higher end. And it actually has some likes, unlike the last post we saw. All right, so, okay. So at my middle school, we do VEX V5 robotics. The team that I am on is girl powered. However, we are constantly ridiculed based on our robot, our strategy, our code, and our engineering notebook. Also, technically that should be a semicolon, not a regular colon right there for all you English nerds out there. All of our teams at our middle school qualified for U.S. Open for high stakes. Unfortunately, we were a public school, so we could only afford to send two out of five teams to go. Seems pretty reasonable. Now, my teacher decided for a vote on what two teams should go. There are three functioning robots out of five, including ours. We also have a higher autonomous code score, as well as more sophisticated engineering notebook. But since we are constantly disrespected, we are nervous that the vote will be biased and not based on skill and practicality. So, so first thing here is like, what do you want the VEX form to do to help you here? Like, the VEX form isn't going to be able to convince your teacher to do probably a better method of choosing which teams to go instead of a popularity contest. But, like, VEX form can't help. VEX form, the only reason that we think you should be better is because of the information you already told us. Like, additionally, it also seems kind of weird that they're just mentioning, like, higher autonomous coding score. Like, why not just a higher skills score? Um, which makes me think they actually don't have the highest skills score. And then as well as more sophisticated engineering notebook. Again, do you have anything like more notebook awards? I feel like you probably would have mentioned that here. So like the main thing here is like, you are very much just giving us your side of the story. And then what do you even want us to do about this? Like this isn't something you need to go and post about on VEX form. 
Um, moving on to the next one. Hear me out. Artificial intelligence for controlling the robot. That was, This is OP right here, the light green eye. And they posted this, and this is like a little ways down on the thread. So, weekly update. I am now going to try and learn how to code C++. All right, that's cool. Learning to code C++, great start. And then try to code a neural network, as somebody else suggested. Um, one does not simply code a neural network. That's not just something you just sort of do. It's not a hello world program or anything like that. Um, neural networks are pretty complicated, and you're not just going to sit down and code one in C++. Especially when you don't even have any websites that teach C++. So, again, something you'll see is a lot of enthusiasm without realistic expectations here. Now, this is the exact same thread. We have another user responding to our guy. So, yeah, no one does. Don't use C++. It sucks. You see it's better. I guess you might have to use C++ for this project, but try and avoid C++. It has a lot of issues and it's ancient. So, a lot to break down here. First of all, don't use C++, it sucks. There are some people that have somewhat val- I'm a C++ guy, I like C++, but there are some people like Rust users that don't like C++, and they at least have somewhat valid reasons for not liking C++. But this person, but this person is a C user, which C is like the older version of C++. C++ is all built up on C. So, C is used at like very, very low level stuff, small electronic devices that have to be super efficient. Um, things like an electronic watch would probably use C, not any like fancy smart watch. If you're using C, it's for very small systems and it's where you need to be super efficient. Now saying that if you have, first of all, you wouldn't want to use, first of all, saying have to use C++ for this project is also kind of weird because like most machine learning stuff, if you're just going at it, is going to be done in Python. Now there are valid reasons not to like C++. Um, like having a lot of issues. First of all, it's an extremely reliable language. That's why it's so widely used. It does not have issues. The only thing remotely related to issues are memory leaks, which is the main reason why people don't use C++, but memory leaks are actually just a skill issue on your part. And then saying that it is ancient. Yes, C++ is a very old language by computer standards. It was like mid 1980s, which by computer standards is quite old. However, then to suggest C, which is like from the 70s, even older. It's like saying, no, you shouldn't eat a cookie. They're too high in sugar. Here, eat some raw sugar instead. Like, very interesting things from this user here. So I hope that you enjoyed that, found this a little bit funny. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to see more of these videos. Let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.